All right, first day at M's, and I spent the last several hours kind of checking out the studio and starting to patch through the 200 system. Um, I spent quite a bit of time first kind of checking out the 227 and the uh, 228, or sorry, 288V. Um, two things that I hadn't ever messed with before, and so just kind of getting to know them. Um, this is cool. I've always wanted to know what this was, and this is a specific module that um, Daniel, that oversees this place, uh, who's the main, or head tech, made. Um, yeah, it's got some audio to, uh, or, yeah, audio to CV, um, ends. It's got a light level, um, that's, uh, CV controllable, so I have, uh, fluctuating random voltage going into this right now, so sometimes if you ever see videos of people using this, you'll kind of see a fluctuation in light. It's not too drastic right now, because I got the rest of the lights on. Um, uh, it's got an audio attenu attenuator, um, I haven't really gone through these, I think these are all connected, a lot of these things are kind of normal to this, and this then, um, goes to, uh, Patch Bay over here, um, down here, this is the whole room, so... Here's where you enter. I never see this place. Um, it's what it actually looks like. You just just see what's um, what somebody's patched on the bukla. Um, so yeah, they've got this kind of a surround sound setup, which I've kind of got set up for quad and trying out the uh, binaural mic a little bit. I'm not worried too much about that one just for today. I think I'll kind of dig in with it more. Um, so yeah, I just made a kind of big patch with a bunch of voices just to get a feel of things. There's some things that are not quite working uh, right. The uh, 218 um, kind of jumps in voltage, like if you've got some static um, electricity built up, it'll kind of jump pitches. Um, even though they have a, um, anti-static mat here. Um, this is an original Marf, which, uh, is super buggy. <laughs> it's, it's pretty funny to, uh, you know, we're used to the, uh, clones being super buggy. But, uh, this one as well, just like everybody's said it has been. Um, unfortunately, the second... 296 is on the bench getting um, new sliders and kind of all taken apart. So there's only one here. I uh, didn't get to the 205 yet. Um, and uh, the on the 288, the 7 and 4 um, outputs are not working or those taps. It's kind of interesting because I, I can tell it's like they don't work within the panel mix, but then I don't think they work um, with the preset mixes either. Um, yeah, so also just kind of get an idea of what's original and what's not. All the um, 259s are original. Um, the MARF is original. Uh, 281s and 292s are original, the 2266s are, the 207s are, um, and the 296 and the other one that I saw too on the bench um, is original as well. So all, everything else is, uh, is Roman clones or uh, Verbus. So, yeah. So I can show you what I patched up. So I, I have um, four signals going into, um, this is kind of like the, the mixer, where it's going 
um, into this preamp over here. And that's basically, these are set to come out of all, all kind of four speakers that I have set up for the quad. And then these are, have quad panning going on. So I've got just some noise. I don't know how well you can pick it up. I've got a couple slewed random going to panning on this. Um, yeah, one from the quantized and one from the stored random. Just kind of a vibrato, higher tone, uh, two fluctuating voltages. Uh, going into this one for panning. And yeah, that's a 259. Let's see here. Going into the 291. And that's just a sawtooth out of modulation oscillator. So this, um, this is coming from the odds and evens, um, from the 296, and that's from 259. Uh, what I did with this is I put, let's see, I put fluctuating random voltage into the harmonics, but for the odds and evens, I have those, um, set up from envelopes in here. I was kind of messing around with that. Uh, and then the, a couple other envelope outs are going into the low pass gate that then this is routed into. Um, so yeah, that's kind of fluctuating. And then I don't know how well you can see these lights going, uh, but they're just, um, cross patched. So yeah, two... 281 envelopes kind of cycling at different rates going to X and Y and then I have the X going into the Y and the Y going into the X so they yeah are crossing up um, here I've got um, this other tone set up I'll turn it down I have it going to this offset, um, so I can just control the volume here. And this is a 259 that's getting controlled by the MARF. Um, so every time I tap a key... Oh yeah, I don't have it plugged in anymore, that's right. For I just did a performance with this and plugged it in and plugged it out. So every time I tap the key... Um, I've got the seven stage sequence and I've got enable hit on, uh, stages three and seven. So it'll kind of sustain on this one. And if I hit it again, and then I'll stay on seven. So I'll just kind of keep on cycling with every hit that I do. Um, so yeah, there's, and then I can bring up the volume with this as I go. So I was messing around with the 288 and I kind of trying to wrap my head around this whole um, kind of auto control cycling. This is this section kind of samples what you put into it and then you can kind of hold what's going on and then mess with it. <laughs> and I fell upon this rhythm and then just kind of built off of it. So, um, so I've got no other kind of timing pulses or anything like that, but yet yeah, this is holding down the, the timing. Um, and then I've got another 259, um, that's getting a reference out pulse to its, uh, timbre, so you can kind of hear it hitting. And this, I was using this with the, um, the 288, um, just for doing short kind of 
I was just doing taps to hear the, or hits to then hear the delay taps. And then kind of wound into this. I was like, all right, let me just try and make a track out of it. Um, and then I can beef this up with the timbre and amplitude mod. So these kind of work together. kind of a lot to do to get this thing silenced with so many things going so yeah a lot of this um daniel's done kind of sp special mods on the back to kind of interface with the rest of the studio well so a lot of the whole monitor level and all this stuff just kind of needs to be full open it doesn't really um make any difference on what i do um it is too s i was always interested about this it's something um yeah it's two six u boats here's like the seam in the middle and so it, yeah it's kind of has like two cases and then he has this um sandwich in between and kind of mounted together okay on the back let's see if i can yeah, there's, there's like a power switch down there. Um, the other side. It's got this thing, program outputs. So yeah, um, yeah, fun day, just getting to know it, um, just five hours today and a bit of that was just to kind of go through and tour this place um but yeah time is about up so i gotta uh, save my settings and go i don't know i've never really used ableton before and so trying to work with it um yeah i'll uh i'll get more of this stuff